First Goodwill and Ashley's already found some goodies. Oh, <laughs> off the flag stick. Ashley can't control herself over here. Official beer of the PGA Tour. This thing is awesome. Uh, Ashley, I think we filled our car on this one. <laughs> Guess we need to get a bigger car. Guys, welcome back. We're back in Jacksonville doing some thrifting. We had an awesome time here last time. We found a full set of ping iron, so it was a good time for us. And in the comment section below in the last video, you let us know some other uh, thrift stores to check out. So we're gonna check them out. We're almost at 7,000 subscribers, so thank you for the support. Let's keep things rolling here and find some good stuff in this Goodwill. All right, first Goodwill and Ashley's already found some goodies. We got a bag boy pull cart and an Agio bag. Uh, pretty good deal. I think it's $10. Not sure if it's because there's marked on the bag and the uh, pull cart, but yeah, $10 each. Not a bad deal anyways. I don't think this valuables pouch is $10. No. So I'm guessing it's $10 <laughs> for the whole thing. Got some clubs in here. Got a head pitching wedge. DN2 putter. Not sure what that is. Got a Titleist DCI pitching wedge in here. Not the best looking clubs, just at first glance. Yeah, these are all looking kind of old. Not the best in terms of clubs, but definitely some heat with the uh, Agio bag and the Bag Boy pull cart. Hey, Jen, there's lots more oh, over wow. here. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ashley's finding all the goodies today. She ran over to that first bag, and she found some more clubs over here. Let's see if we got any uh, good clubs. Got Prince. Man, they have a, a head club and prints. Those are like mostly tennis uh, brands, but we found the uh, tennis golf crossover section, I guess. Oh, but here's another really good bag. This is a Sun Mountain. And a cane. No, oh, and it comes with a cane. <laughs> Don't think it's included. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, it's a, it's a certain club. What is this? Berkeley Hills Country Club. All right, so the pull cart and the bag were $10 together. Plus, we got a free ball retriever, and we ended up picking up the perfect club. So off to a good start. We needed a pull cart, and uh, you can't beat Bag Boy. Some of the high-end Sun Mountains are really good, but I kind of like this one. The tires won't go flat, and yeah. Good off deal. to a good start. Thrift store? Thrift store. And that one's now accepting credit cards. And from what you guys have told me, I might need it in that one. But let's uh, let's start with this new one over here first. All right, no golf clubs in that thrift shop. It's a newer one though, and it usually takes a while for golf clubs to be donated. And then they sit there for a really long time until crazy people like us come along. But luckily, we just have to walk over right over to the next thrift shop. Hopefully they have more. This place is absolutely crazy. We found some golf clubs though, but the music is super loud and there's uh, obviously a bunch of kids and we don't want to film them. So uh, we're going to show you at the end what we actually got. All right, Salvation Army usually has good stuff. Let's see what we got. We've got a uh, nice cart bag right there, 10 bucks. Got some irons with the, uh, well, this is just like literally a sticker. Huh, not most high-end stuff I've ever seen, but got some golf clubs. Hopefully there's something good in here. Got a Harvey Penick, take dead aim. That's really cool. Is this like a matching set, Ashley? It's like a bowling ball bag and a golf bag. Oh, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before. Got some more in here. Got a zone two putter. Yeah, not the best. I think those are ping eye two knockoffs, but oh, what's this? Got a putter right in here. Got a phantom. It's like a uh, tailor-made knockoff. Might do this versus the real thing. See if we, uh... oh, this is the pine meadow one. Yeah, this is uh, sold on Amazon. I think it's like 40 bucks. Always wanted to do a review of an Amazon putter. It's got a super stroke grip on it. Four bucks. Definitely gonna pick that up. John almost missed this. There's another bag boy. Another bag boy pull cart. Good find, Ashley. Yeah, but not for that price. I like ours better. Oh, it's 13 bucks. This one's actually much nicer than the one we, no, they're about the same, but these things on Facebook Marketplace go for like 60 or 70 bucks. Yeah. So it's definitely good to pick up. We don't have any room in the car and we With don't really need boy. one other one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the other bag boy's taking up the room. <laughs> Thank you. All right, next Goodwill. Tons of golf clubs and it's not busy, so that's always a bonus. Let's see if we can't find anything good in here. We got a uh, Wilson, uh, oh, it's a Fat Chef, Deep Red. Uh, we find those all over the place. We got Cleveland, oh, that's, what is this? Cleveland TA3, oh, that's so cool. It's like a Miura Hosel. A Miura Hosel on a Cleveland TA3 head. I've never seen that before. Look at that, Ash, that's, oh, that's crazy. Cool. Miura, if you're not uh, familiar with it, are super expensive. They're like 1,500 plus dollar irons. Somebody used the shaft or the hosel to uh, uh, make out this uh, TA3 Cleveland iron, kind of strange. It's a Franken club? Then? Yeah, it's a Franken club for sure. 
We got a lefty 68 degree wedge for 2.99, a super fly. I think, don't they sell these at Academy? I forget what brand this is, might be Wilson. I'm not sure, unbranded. I'm gonna pick that up for a challenge. 68 degree lefty wedge. That could be a uh, fun challenge there, what do you got? Custom Jaguars. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think someone actually put that in there. Yeah. That's really cool. Le LG Tour Grand, it's like a uh, old X16 knockoff, Callaway X16. And put a Jaguar as emblem in there. Ashley, one of our favorite thrift stores decided to move their clubs outside. Not cool, guys. Your uh, thoughts? Not even actually under this yeah, cover. We're barely under cover. These things are going to rot out. Let's uh, see if we can't get some good ones while they're not all rusted out. Let's see, TP4s. Never heard of those. Those look pretty sweet, though. Old Rawlings Steelhead knockoff. Olimar Tri Metal 26 degree. That's pretty, that's pretty much the highest loft I've ever seen on a Tri Metal. Oh, Adam's Insight. Five wood. I actually have the three wood of this, the uh, three plus stronger lofted one. It's pretty much the longest three wood I've ever hit. What flex is this? A flex. My dad actually uses the Adam Insight uh, BUL. I think it's 500. That thing is uh, an absolute beast. So I'll pick this up for him, see if he uh, wants uh, a matching five wood. What do you got? Adam's Idea Witch. Oh, you got an Adam's Idea Wedge, left handed. Uh, that actually, is that a junior club? Oh, it's women's. That's cool. Oh. Yep. Or just short. Definitely disappointed about the move outside. They're already getting wet. This is, uh, yeah, obviously they're not golfers. All right, next thrift store. Definitely not the most golf clubs you've seen all day, but that uh, might be uh, quality over quantity. Let's see what we got. We got a Hawkeye VFT 5 iron. This is pretty much the longest iron I've ever hit. Hawkeye VFTs were like strong lofted and they had titanium in the face. So uh, yeah, might pick that up. Do a little comparison versus a modern Callaway iron or something like that. Got a classic Wilson bag. This thing is uh, leathers, looking really nice. Oh, we got a plaid Nike bag. That's pretty cool too. 25 bucks, I think we'll pass, but uh, definitely some fancy looking bags. What else we got? Golf bag utility belt. Huh, it's like a it's fanny like, pack for your uh, golf bag. Yeah, fanny pack or like a Batman uh, utility belt. Let's say closer to fanny pack. Closer to fanny pack, $5. Superhero powers included. <laughs> I lost Ashley, but she has not lost our mission. Jeez, Michelob Ultra <laughs> Callaway bag. This thing is like brand new. Oh my goodness. What? It's, it's Michelob. like a promotional bag. Oh yeah, it's still got the promotional tees in it. What else we got? Oh, this thing is like loaded with stuff too. 25 bucks, but yeah, this is definitely gonna be a, uh, this might be my bag too. Official beer of the PGA Tour. This thing is awesome. Got a bunch of promotional stuff. Got a uh, snake eyes putter in it. Got some old clubs over there. Ooh, a Tour Edge, <laughs> Tour Edge Exotics bag too. We have found some awesome bags today. We found a lot of clubs, no like Scotty Cameron's or anything like that, but definitely some good stuff. Tour Edge Exotics, anybody into Tour Edge will definitely pick this up pretty quickly, so. Yeah, we lucked out in the bags department today. Another good find, Ashley. You find everything. I go off looking for crazy stuff and she finds the actual, the actual goodies. <laughs> All nighter tonight, guys. Ashley can't control herself over here. Our uh, day full of bags is gonna end with a, uh, a mini golf bag right here. Usually these are like, you see them on the range or they're like collector's items. They're usually full of range balls. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, nice, a tailor-made RBZ stage two. What is this? I think it's a hybrid cover. I actually have one of these. That's what we bought at that uh, uh, auction. One of the hybrids was in there. I like it a lot, so uh, got me a free head cover. Well, not free, 99, 99 cents, basically free. How much is this thing? 7.99. Uh, yeah, that's priced like a full-size bag, but it's a miniature, so. I mean, we'll still get it. It'll look cool in the house, but uh, or until yeah. we make our own driving range. Yeah, until we make our own driving range. I actually looked up online Oh, like, and there's a uh, local driving range for sale. A <laughs> little bit out of our budget. Definitely not a thrift store budget for the driving range, but yeah, definitely gonna pick these up. Made it out to the course, guys. We're gonna test the clubs out. We're gonna start off with the ones from that thrift store that we couldn't film at, which is actually where we found the best club. So that was kind of annoying that we couldn't film that, but we got a Cleveland CG7 and a Cobra SC. Got 160 yards, so let's see which one we can put closer. First up is the Cobra SC. All of these clubs are 75% off, so it averages out to about $2 a club. I 
I think that's a little long. <laughs> a little left and a little long. I'm gonna try and take something off the next one. Now the Cleveland CG7. Ashley's gonna try out a Callaway Big Bertha. I think this is a 2007 model five wood. Should be the right club. A little bit to the right. All right, next up is the Perfect Club, which you guys probably saw on the Golf Channel all the time. Oh, it might be your perfect club for this hole. <laughs> Just a little bit left, but a pretty good shot. John's hitting that 68 degree lefty, which we did look up. They sell at Academy and is Wilson. And I think he's going to stay righty. Ashley, what are you going to chip in with? The McGregor MVG2 9 iron. This is one of those uh, McGregor's that came out with like the V-foil at the same time. These are really nice. Oh, <laughs> off the flag stick. Nice. Finishing up with the uh, Pine Meadow Phantom putter. This is that Amazon putter. I think the grip is worth more than the putter itself. So yeah, got that going for it. Let's see if Ashley can't knock in that putt. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at exactly what we got in the end. We got a six, seven, eight in that Cobra SZ. Those were like, I think a dollar 25 each. What else didn't we try? Oh, the uh, Callaway VFT and a Ben Hogan Apex Plus 5 iron and that uh, McGregor that Ashley almost chipped in with. But uh, yeah, the highlight of the day was definitely all of those bags. We got that Michelob Ultra one, which is awesome. Really so cool. yeah, and that little tiny one just to uh, cap off our day of bags. All right, guys, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe and- We'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.